Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? We're playing some Open Angel Arena. This game actually had a patch recently. We updated the map and some general bug fixes. Uh, fixes? Yes. Good English, boomy. Uh, you can see the arena here. Isn't it beautiful? It's even got like water around it and it's all red and shit. Dude, you can't tell me that that isn't sick as all hell. Because it is. It is sick, sick as all hell. It's the sickest. The sickening. I am sickened by how sick this is. Alright. No, we uh, actually had uh, Satsa, of all people. Satsa was the one that did this. Updated the map, made it pretty. I mean, it's awesome. Alright, it's great. I'm very happy about it. And, uh, yeah. So we had just some minor performance updates and such. Like, you can actually mute the music now. It does work. Uh, I could show you, but that would turn off the music. Because while you can mute it, you can turn it back on. Still a work in progress. <laughs> like, you can't mute it, you just can't turn it back on. That's kind of like uh, the current situation there, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, playing Gyrocopter here. My plan today is to buy um, uh, uh, Aghanims. Well, actually, I'm gonna have the Alchemist give me one. And I'm just gonna tank up and buy a Divine Rapier. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to tank up and buy Divine Rapier and uh, have the Aghanim shoot for me. Am I getting a card? Did I get a card? Oh yeah, there is a card here. Oh, now I have both cards. Well, that's great. That's exactly what I needed. Hello, cards. <laughs> okay. Well, at least they're cute. No, they're just playing. Just looks a little bit violent because cats tend to play really violently. Anyway. So, no cat cam. Well, the cats are currently on the floor beating each other up. Actually, they're currently on the couch doing that. Wait, I can show you. Right. There, there's one. There's one. The other. Ah, oh, there's the other. Can't fight. <laughs> oh, shit. This is, this is much more interesting than the game. We should definitely be watching this instead. All right. We, we're, taking, we're taking bets on this. Oh, I died. Who cares? Who cares? Go attack him, Coco. You can do it. He's he's he's, he, he's in his box. He went into his box. He's in cat. He's in tank mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think they're just gonna be chilling now. So, sorry, boys, we died. But I think we can all agree this was much more important. This was much much more important. Alright, 10 bucks on the wine. Well, that's definitely an easy bet, con considering he's like twice as big. <laughs> yeah, she's still very tiny. Very tiny kitten. Alright, let me get that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Noah, the big one, the white one. He loves that box for some reason. He always sleeps in that box. Always sleeps in that box, no matter what. All right, it's either the box or it's on the desk. And it's only on the desk because on the desk I pet him. All right, so if he wants to be pet, he sleeps on the desk. And if he doesn't want to be pet, he sleeps on the, in the box. <laughs> it's an adorable little idiot. No, actually, I think he's very clever. He's actually a very, very smart cat. And I know, uh, and I know that sounds like something that, you know, like every parent of anything says about their, you know, this is my cat child. Of course it's very clever. No, 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 no. I've had stupid cats before. I've had stupid cats before. Nikita wasn't very clever. She wasn't. Right? Noah is very clever. Very smart cat. Oh, actually talking about cat. Wait, guys. Look who's here. Wait, we can try out the new cat cam. Okay. Okay, okay. Because I got a sliding. Just give me one second. I gotta turn it on. I gotta turn it on. Look at that. Look at that. Did I die again? God damn it. <laughs> I'm just feeding over here. Please forgive me, team. Please forgive me. Are you watching the big house? I'll definitely be watching the big house after this. But yeah. So we like updated uh, the, the map to just look a little bit prettier. Right. And we had some 
fix this, some general smaller stuff, nothing crazy. Um, there will be a pretty big patch uh, in the future where I'm probably going to be drastically changing the balance of a lot of casters, mainly, actually. But, um, yeah. Totally worth the death. I do think that. Look at that. Come on. Push one for the lighting. Push one for the lighting. If that's not great. Is, is this not the best service? Yeah, he's going mana boots. Okay. I think I'm gonna go Tranquils, actually. Oh, root. Hello. Oh, nice. That was a good shot. Well, what am I going for? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, Bloodseeker. Okay, got us. Could go for face boots or something. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Yo, Alchemist, in this game mode, Radiance is not the best farming item. Like, it's just not that great for farming. It's a great fighting item. So if you want to fight, then Radiance is great. But I remember you saying you want to farm. In that case, Radiance is not that great. Da -da -da. Because a lot of the really valuable creeps, the farming cave, notably, uh, are actually ancients. Makes it so that... Come on! Oh, nice. And that makes it so that, you know, like, uh, it is less valuable to just... Ooh. Yeah, we gotta get on there. Damn it! Ah! We got a rag. We got a rag. Hmm. Trouble boots? Nah, we're going tranquils. We are going tranquils. That makes sense to me. How do you beat a defeat of depression if it's on your team? Acceptance, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, my friend. You doing okay? Good. I'm glad you're not doing okay. Wait, no, you're doing it. No, I don't know. That sounds mean. I don't want to be mean. I just wanted to say, like, just talking shit, you know. I think we can kill a boss. Please don't underestimate the power of magic damage. And the earlier we kill a boss, the better. Like, it's really valuable to get early boss kills. And seriously, do not underestimate magic damage. We have a lot of it. And it melts through these bosses. Like, it's actually so good at it. There we go, we've got depression tanking. Alright. Now, this is a pretty early boss kill. And we don't really have, like, a clear physical DPS, so we have a clear um, tank or anything like that. Just rotating through. Yes, we're gonna lose some people, but who cares. And we got him. This is pretty big, because now we can upgrade this twice immediately. Fantastic. And uh, now we just gotta get the stacks going, which is gonna take a little while. What's the item under the pool staff? This right here is a Shroud of Shadows. It's a combination of Ghost Scepter and... Um, what is it called? Damn it! I don't buy support items. Glimmercade! Glimmercade. Uh, basically applies both effects on the target. So very defensive items. Uh, it has a niche little uh, niche little um, thing about it that a lot of people aren't aware of, which is the fact that it has global cost range, <laughs> which really started out as more of a bug, but at this point I see it as a feature. Right? I just see it as oh, well that item just has global cost range. But yeah, it has global cost range, which is actually very powerful. <laughs> Like, that's actually just kind of crazy, the fact that it has global cast range. Anyway. We're just going to be running around the map today. Look at this cat cam. Is this not the most quality cat cam of the lighting now? Look at that, Coco. Isn't she adorable? Oh, yeah. You're adorable, aren't you? Oh, yeah. That's a good Coco. 
Bugs are features? Yeah. Things are only bugs for as long as they're not declared features. Dude, that's how it works. That's how it works. Alright. Still haven't quite gotten enough stacks from this. Yeah, I'm just kind of like running around the place. But yeah. Soon we'll have it. And then we can get a lot of money that way. You gotta keep in mind, we got them pretty early. So. 4,000 gold at this stage is actually quite a lot. <laughs> that definitely matters. Oh, we actually got it. Nice. So we've got 7,000 gold now. Um, we definitely go satanic this game. Like, absolutely 100% of the time we go satanic this game. So we'll just grab that right away. We definitely want an MKB. Reflex core. We're just going purely defensive, by the way. And then we're going Divine Rapier. <laughs> we'll see if that works out for us. It probably won't. <laughs> but that's okay. Come here, my friend. No, he's out. He is out, that's okay. How's our alchemist doing? Oh. Yo, depression. Uh, if you you wanna definitely upgrade your boots. I don't know. I how, how familiar are you with this mod? I don't know. I see you play a lot of other custom games. I don't know if I've ever seen you in here. But upgrade oh, upgrade your boots. It's like the most important thing. Because they give you cleave. And if you want really strong farming, the best farming tool in the game is face boots, upgraded face boots. And be careful with which boots you upgrade. You only get to upgrade them once. Upgraded face boots and battle fury is the best farming tool in the game. So. Oh, look at that Coco. Oh, is that not the best cat? What a good cat. Yes. Uh, oh, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. Get fucking wrecked, man. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we've got our satanic. Um, do we go hard? Hmm. We do want an MKB, I think. Yeah. Okay, and Alchemist, once you have both those items, where you want to go is back here. Also, this right here, this right here is actually, like, the super insane in terms of farming right now. Right? This back here is called the Farming Cave. And that is the most valuable farming spot in the entire game. It just is. That's where you can make the most money. Whether that be good or bad. No, we'll leave that out of the question. But it is the place where you can make the most money. I need this alchemist to do well so he can give me an agonim soon. <laughs> I'm helping him out of purely selfish reasons. I just want my agonims. Alright. Um, so, we leave this slot for Divine Rapier. Right, so we have two slots left. What do we put in there? Is somebody here going Shibas? Okay. Alright. So I think since we have a Shibas, which was going to be my one idea, we'll just go for a Reflex Core. Alright, and we'll go for... Um, one of these or this one no I like this one more 
We'll go for one of these. That leaves me with one slot. Hmm. Maybe I do want an Assault Cross. Didn't really want to go for, like, attack speed, you know, but maybe that's a good idea. Hello, uh, I'm sorry. I'm in the thing right now. I'll eat later. Thank you. Alright. Hmm. So what are we going for, then? You want to kill bosses. Like, that's one of the really big important things here. Okay, we'll sell this. Move that. Get that in here. Um... Okay, I'll just get a casual Daedalus for some damage output. Hmm. I don't think anybody else on my team is really going to go Soul Cross, right? Well, uh, you know what. It's going to be nice to have some additional armor. I actually want to increase my survivability by increasing my armor, not so much by increasing my HP pool. Because that means my um, lifesteal will be more powerful in the grand scheme of things. Alright. Uh, somebody should get a solar crest. Don't really care who, just somebody. Alright, boys. Kill those fools really quick. Nice. Let me go and uh, take down a creep. Oh, nice. I got Agnes. Sick. Love it. Love it. Mm hmm. I'm new to you and you really, so this may be a dumb question, but is Angel Arena your game? Did you make it? This right here? So Angel Arena as a whole is more of a genre than a single game. But this open Angel this this Angel Arena, open Angel Arena, yes, that is my game. I made it. Um and by I made it, I mean I am the I guess creative mind behind it. Like I designed it. Uh, I didn't actually do the programming and such. In that regard, Open Angel Arena was an open source project. Which is where the open and the name com comes from. There were a lot of people involved in making it, which is actually really cool. Right? Like, it, it was a community project. Very cool project, actually. Wish it had gotten a little bit more attention in, you know, the outside community, because I think it's actually a very cool little thing. But, oh well. Okay, can we throw down a missile? Uh, nice. Easy peasy. Just ran them over really quick with our Aghanims. Dude, I love Aghanims on Gyro. That shit is so sick. Alright, Depression. Another item that's really good, and you should probably get, is Heart. Actually, let me help you out with item build a little bit. If you're gonna get a Heart, you're gonna get a Solar Crest, alright? Okay. Alright, we should kill more bosses. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, shit. They're stealing our bosses. Um, can we do that? Yes, we got him. Nice. They still took our boss. We actually should rotate up here and see if we can get those. Like right now, immediately, everybody come along. Everybody come along. So you're in charge of design, what needs to be fixed and such? Um, I'm more in charge of balance and design. In terms of what needs to be fixed, I guess, yeah. In the end, that decision does also lie with me, but fixes are usually not something we just, like, talk too much about. Because usually it's pretty clear what needs to be fixed, you know. But, but yes. Um, that would be me. I'm actually very proud of this game mode. Like, I put a lot of heart and soul into it. Um, it's funny. I came up with most of the stuff for Open Angel Arena on a train ride in Scotland. <laughs> Not really the place that you would think or that you would expect, but 
I was uh, on a holiday with my mom in Scotland and we were taking train rides that lasted like four or five hours while traveling from place to place. And that's when I came up with a lot of the stuff for Open Angel Arena. Um. Ah, oh, they got me. It's unfortunate. Alright. Grab ourselves all of this. Nah, uh, we'll go with the movement speed. But yeah. Uh, beat up this. We gotta kill these. So this is what we're doing here. Is just taking care that we get all of these early bosses. This is actually very important. Um, taking these early bosses uh, drowns out a lot of uh, potential farm of the map. Right? Because there's two, there are two kinds of resources in this mode. They are coarse and they are is gold. Gold is relatively easy to get and basically everybody will get it every time. But course is a bit more difficult. I'm actually thinking, should we get an Octarine uh, Satanic Core instead of this? This gives more strength and gives a lot more damage. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna stick with the regular Satanic. Satanic just has a, a bigger lifesteal. Like, passive lifesteal, the stats on it are more powerful than the Satanic Core. The sky is the limit. I think Noah's dead. Well, first of all, that's Coco. Coco is the one that's over here, right? That's the little one. Noah is perfectly fine. He's happy in his box. <laughs> he also looks dead, though. But don't worry about it. They're both fine. Ugh. <laughs> uh. But yeah, the whole course thing and such, we definitely, one thing that we need to work on. Um, and this is going to be like my next big undertaking, undertaking with this mode. Um, is we need to make it clearer what the course are and how they work. Make that whole situation easier to understand. Because currently it is pretty difficult and pretty tricky and a lot of people just don't know. Understandably so, right? Like it's not really ever properly explained. Not even the game mode, it's like not even in the... Description on the Steam Workshop is it properly exclaimed, uh, uh, ex explained, and that's really just on us, right? It's our fault. Hmm. I think I'll just max out the Satanic. Right? So my goal here is to get to a like, level 3 and level 4 core as quickly as possible. Alright, that's all I want, man. That's all I want. Oh, it seems Depression is figuring out how to upgrade stuff. Nice. This game is actually very in-depth. Like, you can get very, very good at Open Angel Arena. Mm. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Um, Merlini did play a lot of this mode, actually. Uh, by a lot of it, I meant... Sorry. A lot is definitely not a good way of putting it. Malini did play a bit of this mode on a stream when he streamed quite a bit recently. And uh, he really enjoyed it, which made me quite happy. I was really excited about that. I'm just like, oh, that's nice that Merlini is having uh, a good time playing this game. You know? But yeah, he really enjoyed the complexity and all of that. The problem we had while he was streaming, though, is that that was actually during a rather unstable patch. <laughs> Which was a little bit unfortunate and like it kept crashing and we have since found the root of that problem but it's still kind of like ah oh, god that feels bad you know the one time we actually get somebody popular to play it uh and it just keeps dying feels bad man feels bad although i didn't actually like get him to play it i don't want to Give off the wrong impression there, right? Didn't talk to him or anything like that. He just played it on his own. Uh, let me go to uh, max this out. We'll get ourselves the flat cannon here. Okay. Just kind of shooting into the general direction here. No beating people up and all of that. Doing the usual. 
All right. Got ourselves uh, this little guy. Thank you. Dropped the soul cross really quick. That's just a little bug. Don't worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and keep fighting some bosses here. We want to make sure we get a lot of cores, as always. Right, it's very important, very essential to build up a lot of these, since it's really the main source of progression. Especially in the current patch, which the current patch is kind of a little bit of a mess. But it's fun to play, so I'm not really in a like, huge hurry to change it. It's also because we're working on a different game with the, you know, Frostless thing. But anyway. But, um... You know, there is... Uh, it's a little bit of a mess in regards to... Um... Something. Dude, I forgot where I was going with this. I was going somewhere though, I swear. Promise! Promise! I was going somewhere! Just don't know what exactly it was. Alright. Right. Yeah, yeah. Carlos, I want to get someone. I have a MKB or Daedalus and like a Scotty on your Alchemist. Right. I like the Agonims. Free Agonims makes this so easy. So nice. I'm saving this core because I don't know. If I like, like, I'm gonna need it while changing something up. I'll, while changing something out. Hello. All right. Thank you. It's actually a little bit annoying because I may just unintentionally interrupt his charge with my MKB that auto fires like that. Okay. Hope I can't get him low enough. Yeah, I think he should be in the last phase now. Yeah, the difference between the earlier phases and the last phases. In the last phase, his charge doesn't have a cooldown. Which, um... Obviously makes it so that, you know, it's gonna be much easier to actually land them. Alright. <laughs> Dude, I like my satanic. It's just keeping me going. The, the life steal from it is so much... Hey, what's up, man? Come back. Come back. Got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I need somebody else to tank this. Yeah, you, for example. I do quite a bit of damage, so it's best to have me deal damage. Okay. I really have far too many cores for once. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Usually that's not really a problem you face. But the thing is the item build I'm going for is a very unusual item build. And it is incredibly light on the course. It is much uh, much more money expensive actually. I need a lot of money. I also need high level course. But we'll get to that. Do we just rush the Aghanims like as soon as possible? Not Aghanims, uh, Divine Rapier, sorry. I mean, that would be a little bit silly, I feel, but it might also be a little bit fun. Dude, I love the Gyro Aghanims, man. That shit's amazing. Did you see me just keep going with only Satanic? It didn't even use this thing. But the Satanic is just... making it easy. <laughs> Alright, let's just get the Divine Rapier. So the first... I, I do need more money for it, though. And I need a level 3 core. Come on. Alright. So we're gonna get ourselves this. And, um... 
Yeah, the really important thing is going to be getting uh, the money, actually. And the level 4 core. The level 4 core is kind of difficult to acquire. But we might be able to just do it at this stage. And do not use your solo, yes. Make sure you can actually yeah. Okay. So Divine Rapier costs 50,000 gold. <laughs> like, that's actually just crazy. How much money that is. How much money that is. Alright. Uh, although I'm dropping rather low on HP here. Yeah. Feels bad, man. I actually need somebody else to tank. Yeah, so we do need a bit more cash. Wow, the cooldown on that Dagon. What's the cooldown on that? 10 seconds. Ah, oh, no, 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 please. Ah, oh, God. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Rude. Rude. I actually forgot to activate this, though. For my own fault. Ah, oh, feels bad, man. Alright. Let's finish that dude, though. Yeah, we lost a little bit of progress on him, but not huge amounts. Not huge amounts. Okay. Alchemist would be nice to have here. But <laughs> that guy's a little bit on the slower side. <laughs> Let me actually go and poop out a ward really quick. So we see them coming. Now just in case they try something funny again. We don't want that. I want to get screwed by that. Alright. So now I need 13,000 gold, which is a lot of money. Like that's just, we gotta get that money somehow. Uh, what level is the farming cave at? Oh, nice. Relatively low level. Oh, not relatively low level. That's not what I mean. What room are we in? Relatively low room. High level. Level 5 though. So if we just clear one room, we should actually get enough money. Clearing one room will be a struggle though. Thing is, I actually need to get the last hit, so I don't have TP boots or anything. <laughs> I went for Trankles. I do actually really like the Trankles. I think they're very good, but... You know, the downside with the Trankles is you need to actually get the last hit. I'm not going into the next room. Fuck that. That's too hard. I'm better off just going... Doing this, you know. That will give me 2,000 gold or... More moist. I actually just need a creep now. There we go. Alright. You all ready? Because look what's online. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking retarded. We're going to die and we're going to lose it. Like, this is what's going to happen. We're going to die. We're going to lose the Divine Rapier. <laughs> and that's when they start coming back. <laughs> or maybe not. So, the thing about Divine Rapier, it does give you 2,500 extra damage. Which, there's one way to describe 2,500 extra damage. It's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of damage. Even in this, even in this mode. Right? Even in this mode. It's just a ton of fucking damage. I hit so hard now. This is actually absurd. This is actually just fucking absurd. Alright. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool, though. Okay, I want to max... Ah, dual time. Okay. Alright, who's up? <laughs> Bring him in. Come on, where is he? Bring him here. Bring him here. No, I'm looking for you, you know? There we go. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, it's fair and balanced. It's fair and balanced. Yeah, so this is the red dual arena and Dante is the green dual arena. I really like that. I think that's super cool. Okay, there's just level 4s left. But I do want... I actually do want a level 4 so I can upgrade my... Uh, greater reduction orb. That would be really nice. I don't quite have enough money. Why would I nerf Necro? Oh, in general, I do a, I can't, I can't see that. But I don't think that he's actually that broken. Anymore. I think Necro's actually fine in this mode. He's just, you know. He, he is a little bit silly in regular Dota. But even then, I don't really think he's overpowered. He's just strong. Right, and this is something you need to, like, this is something I feel like people often, like, get wrong. It's just they can't really differentiate between strong and overpowered. Alright. It's perfectly fine for things to be strong. There's nothing wrong with the hero being strong. There will always be somebody that is strong. There's always be so going to be somebody that is the strongest hero in the game. There's nothing wrong with that. that? Right, it doesn't make them inherently overpowered. Or does that make an inherent mistake? Alright. Oh, so much take name. Yeah, so much take name. Um, actually understands how Reddit works. It seems... <laughs> seemingly the only person here. Oh, nice! With the double finger kill. Alright. Fuck him up. Mm -hmm. Dude, my plan is just to run in. <laughs> hey, Leon117. Thank you for the sub, my man. Very much appreciate that. Very much appreciate that. And with that, we win the video game. Isn't that right, Coco? Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. What a good cat. All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of Open Angel Arena. If you did, please don't forget to do your rating on the video. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.